electricity bill, when to recharge your phone, Dropbox subscription, Netflix subscription, Amazon Prime, maybe Hotstar, maybe Medium. And there are so many of these subscription services and we need to keep a track of all of them. Now some automatically charge me via the credit card, but some just blocks my account or keep my accounts on hold and then when the next time I try to watch a movie, I have to pay them money manually. Now, I don't mind paying these services. In fact, I love all of these services and that's why I pay to them. But I wish that there could be an easier way to keep track of all of these subscription and when to recharge for my mobile and for a whole lot of services that I pay money for. Some services renew on January, some services renew monthly, weekly, some services renew in December. <laughs> There's a whole lot of mess that comes through throughout the year. I just wanted a simple solution that I want to keep a track of all of these subscription and all these websites for which I pay. And I just want to keep a track of them. Nothing more, nothing less. And yes, I tried a couple of services. Some were keeping track of my credit card bills but they were asking for my entire email account. I was not really comfortable with that. I tried some of the other services as well, but they were even charging me to add the sixth product. Now, of course they need to charge, that's their business, but it hurts a little bit to have a payment for this kind of easy service and some even charge for dark mode. Like, come on, this is too much. Now, obviously, I cannot complain to them, this is their business model. So I figured out that this couldn't be just me. It is not like I'm the only one who is facing this problem. I'm pretty sure there are many other people who are facing this problem. So I got a problem statement. The next thing is to work out on a solution. So I looked into this problem with a broader perspective, redefined the problem statement, did a dig up a little bit on the use cases and the user stories, and finally came up with a UI. The next thing was to code out a simple project which can help me to keep track of all of these subscription services with privacy as the prime focus. I realized that if we build up a product like this, it would be super helpful for me to use. And probably if I release to all the public, we can give a product to public Public, as well as we can test out some of the new mobile frameworks to see how good they are in the production. With this, I would like to present to you the new product, a new app that you can use to keep track of all of your payments with privacy as the prime focus. There is no login in this app. There is no database that we are fetching all of your financial information onto us. There is nothing like that. Your data never leaves your phone. This app is really prime focused with the simplicity. You just need to add up your name, choose your currency, for which you want to keep a track of and that's it. We are already giving you a few categories but we are not restricting you there. Feel free to add more categories as you like. Then simply just go ahead and add the product that you want to keep a track of whether it's Netflix, Amazon Prime or maybe other services of your credit card billing date or maybe your rent, maybe your mobile phone recharge, whatever you want to add you can keep adding unlimited products. Not only that, you can also get notification whenever you want and what type of notification you want. This app will automatically give you the cards for the next upcoming payment, which is very close next to you. At one single easy to navigate home screen, you see all of the things for which you are paying. You can also get information about how much you are paying monthly and on yearly basis. The goal of this app is not to do tons of different things. No, we are not on that. It's just a simple app to keep a track of where all of your money is going and get a reminder when the important dates are coming in. The best part about this app, which I personally like, is the privacy focus. No login, no database, nothing like that. And we're also not holding users just into the app. If you don't like the app, you can export all of your data in the CSV. You can import that too. Now for this app, I would like to give a big shout out to Ranga because there were a lot of problems in this app that we faced and Ranga handled all of them nicely and so humbly. Now for the future of this app, this is of course the version one. In the future, me and Ranga will be handling this project, but as a side hobby project. So expect bug fixes and the new feature based on the side hobby project. Now having these kinds of product is really great. We will be pushing that. We'll be doing some of the marketing for that as well so that more people can actually use that. And this brings us to the topic that in the future, this opens up the door to hire more people uh, as an intern or maybe a contract worker to add more features into the app or maybe some interns to, interns to give them more idea about how a production level app is being designed and is being pushed to the market. And yes, of course, this app is absolutely free. There is a link in the description section. You can go ahead and download this. As of now, we are on Android, but very soon we'll be on iOS too. 
Now, for the future of this app, obviously we will try to refine it further down. And if you wish that I want to add one more feature into this app or would like to contribute a little bit more, go ahead and reach me out on Instagram or in the comment section. We would love to have more programmers contributing in this project. And as I always say, this is version one. Eventually things will evolve and will get better. So with this, that's it for this video and I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next one. I heard you say you